Hey everybody and welcome to Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures about every couple weeks. So hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. In this video, we're just gonna be taking some user submitted Fall Guy characters and making a little diorama out of it. But this time, we're not even gonna need to make an armature. Just sculpting. Let's get started. So for this sculpture, we are going to be starting with something just a little different. And that is, we are not going to be using an armature. Just chunks of clay and then taking carving tools and carving out what we need. This is one of the things that this monster clay really excels at. So I asked a while ago on Twitter to post your Fall Guy characters. So I went through and just picked a few that I liked and went to town making this little diorama. We started with some large egg shapes for the bodies, then we pressed in a quarter to get the round part of the face. This way we could get all the proportions correct. Then it was just a matter of carving out and adding clay where it was needed. For the feathers on the first suit, it took a little while to figure out how I could do it without it taking a million years to finish. I ended up using this carving tool and carving out the notches, then smoothing those down. Then I decided to try just something a little different, so I took this spoon tool and rolled it over the sculpture. Then I took a pointed carving tool and carved out all the spots where the feathers came together to give it the depth it needed. For the french fry suit, I started the same way as the first one, bulking out the base of the sculpture so I could carve out the shapes that were needed. For the fries, I rolled out sheets of clay, then folded them over and over to get the thickness we needed. Then I took a blade and cut out fry shapes and stuck them on using the reference.
For the hot dog, it was exactly the same as the others, bulking out the clay and sculpting it down until it looked like the reference. Then I decided to make them stacked on top of each other, making it look like they were fighting to get the crown, so I had to add in some steel wire to hold them in the positions I wanted. For the paint, well, there really is nothing special at all here with this one. It's very cartoony, so I left it as such. I even let my two-year-old help to paint it. Sorry if the paint job isn't up to snuff. I did go back through with the airbrush and tried to give it a little more depth because there is a couple of sort of gradients on the suits that I wanted to just get in there. Thank you so much for watching everybody remember to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of the new videos make sure you give the video a like if you liked it make sure you join the discord that's quickly growing and there's a lot of cool people over there that will answer all your questions you can post your videos post your pictures of the projects that you're working on get info on stuff get uh get stuff answered and all that good stuff also if you're interested i do stream the whole process on twitch on mondays wednesdays and fridays the community over there is quickly growing they're freaking amazing come join come hang out Come say hi. Links for everything that I've discussed and everything that I've used in the video will be down below. I'll see you all in the next one.